Jim Cornette gone from Global Force Wrestling, Bound for Glory 2017 to be held in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. This is BQ when I do this for the uh, Impact me? Wrestling fans. Why? Why were you so mean to Miss Gale? Now I know in my opening I normally say Global Force Wrestling, but from here on out it will be Impact Wrestling until further notice. That's what's being promoted for Bound for Glory. That's what's being promoted on all promotional material. The Global Force Wrestling Twitter has not tweeted since September 11th. So, with that being said, until further notice, I will call it Impact Wrestling. Speaking of which, Impact Wrestling has been in the news once again. This morning, Dave Meltzer and the Wrestling Observer Are you calling me a liar? reported that Jim Cornette is done with the company. Apparently, he was brought in, reportedly, to do one set of tapings by Jeff Jarrett. He was also scheduled to do Bound for Glory and possibly a day or two after that. Now, the company has since announced that Bound for Glory will be held in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, a country that Jim Cornette is not allowed into. Now, at first, I felt that Dave Meltzer... Are you calling me a liar? ...kind of jumped the gun with this because Jim Cornette doesn't necessarily need to be at every set of tapings. I mean, there's wrestlers on the roster who are not at every set of tapings. With that being said, it has also been reported that Global Force Wrestling slash Impact Wrestling has confirmed that Jim Cornette is done with the company as of today and it also has been reported that Jim Cornette has also stated the same and will address it further on his podcast in the morning. Jim Cornette was brought for one set of tapings apparently to do a couple things to fire Alberto up I'm sorry to strip Alberto El Patron and set up the gauntlet for gold and to fire Bruce Pritchard. Now in the reports it said that Bruce Pritchard was going to return as a heel manager to try to make Anthem baby faces to the wrestling fans. I don't know if they mean wrestling fans in general or the Impact Wrestling fans. I'm not exactly sure, but I don't think it's a far stretch to say that Bruce was probably scheduled to come back as a manager of Alberto El Patron and have some kind of short-term angle with Jim Cornette or Jeff Jarrett. Obviously, a lot of that has been scrapped, so there's going to be a lot of changes. We're going to have to see what happens with this story going forward. Hopefully they really find a way to turn all this into something special and really deliver come Bound for Glory. Now, Bound for Glory, speaking of which, is in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. I think it's great to have it in another country where wrestling passion is real. And I think they're going to do a good turnout. They're going to be doing five sets of tapings there, which is going to translate to about... 10 episodes maybe even more I don't but usually they do two episodes a day with the taping so we're just going to go ahead and say that it's 10 episodes all being done in Canada which I think is a really good thing and I think we can all agree except maybe the people in the impact zone who are used to the impact wrestling product being right there every single time they are in town so I want to know what you guys think about the Jim Cornette situation I have to believe most of you don't feel didn't feel like he was going to be there long term. I was hoping it was going to be more than one set of tapings. But with all this being said, there is one underlying point to all this. The inconsistency is becoming a killer. It's becoming very old. As someone who is passionate about this product, who loves talking about it, loves reporting on it, it is getting really, really old all of the inconsistencies you have to put out a consistent product you have to have a consistent name you have to have consistent characters there are way too many changes going on now some of these changes are totally understood because there's going to be some growing pains with everything going on right now but when the company name is flip-flopping you got authority characters on TV changing It's just getting super old. Now, apparently Sanjay and Scott Damore want to focus more on the in-ring product and less on storylines involving authority figures, which is fine. I've always said I think they need some kind of matchmaker, but not necessarily some authority figure who's taking over the show. We're going to see what happens with Jim Cornette, Bruce Prichard, and Bound for Glory 2017. Guys, please hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 2.5K by Bound for Glory. And that's all I've got for you at this time. All right, folks, we'll talk to you later.